Are you working on flipping the grip, but no matter what you do and what props you uh, use, you're not really progressing and you're rather just hurting yourself? Then this is the right video for you. First, you want to start in pigeon pose. Make sure that your knee is really on the outside of your mat and that your shin is diagonal and that you're not moving over to the side where your knee is, right? So your hip is squared and your knee is pointing to the outside. And you really want to work on this posture here. Uh, you need open hips for back bends and flipping the grip is part of a back bend. I really work considerable time on improving my pigeon pose in order to progress. So if this is troubling for you, work on this first. So with your hips square, you also want to keep your upper body um, straight forward to so not turn to one side. And then when it's possible for you, you start lifting up your upper body. You can get closer and closer with your hands uh, to your body. You can also place your hand on your knee or on your thigh if that feels good for you. And then you start not only by lifting up your body, but also by lifting up your chest. You push your chest up and even forward a little bit. You want to elevate your upper body. At the same time, you want to push your hip forward and down. And as again, as I said, you want to keep it square. So do not open your hip to the side, but keep it completely square. The next progression is to grab your foot and to bring your foot closer to your bum. You just push your foot closer to your bum if that's possible. Uh, or you start by uh, keeping your heel further away and then slowly, 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 if your thigh opens up, if your hip flexor opens up, you bring your heel closer to your bum. If you do that, again, do not shift to the side, but keep your hips completely square. So if you realize that you try to escape the motion, then really focus first again on keeping your hips square. This is also a nice exercise because it opens your shoulder girdle already a little bit. At least this is how it feels to me. On to the next progression where you try to bring your foot into your elbow, so the inside of your elbow rather. And then you want to grab your hand and hold it like this. Again, do not open your body to the side, but keep your hips and your whole body square and work on this here. The next thing I did was trying to help myself. I could not really uh, flip the grip because I couldn't get my foot in the position I wanted to, so I helped myself. I uh, took the opposite hand to keep my foot close to my body and then grabbed the foot from the outside with my thumb facing down. The elbow was facing down as well. My body opens here to the side, right? And you really make, have to make sure that you have a good grip here. If you're not grabbing your foot rather um, below your toes, you might lose it. So the whole thing from another angle. Again, you start in pigeon pose, you grab your heel, get your heel close to your bum, help yourself with your other hand to get your foot close and then you grab your foot from the outside with your thumb facing down. Make sure that you're really having a good grip, otherwise you lose it. Once this is achieved, we are almost there. So for me a big problem was that I am usually quite slippery when I practice this. So even if you get a good grip, you just lose your foot. And I guess a lot of people have the same problem. The first 
thing to uh, solve this problem is to use something to dry your hands and your feet. It sounds simple, but that really helps. So have a towel next to you when you start practicing that. Next we have our climbers pro tip and this is using chalk. Um, I started practicing flipping the grip and all the other um, exercises that I showed you before after my climbing sessions and I usually had super dry hands and that really helped me to progress here. So if you have problems with slipping and a towel doesn't help then get yourself some chalk. You can also get some liquid chalk if you want to um, and uh, then it will be much easier for you to keep the grip. So let's talk about props. There are uh, different ways of how you can do that, that you use some sort of sling to get into the posture. I tried that as well, but I'm actually not a really big fan of that. Of course, you can do whatever helps you, but for me, my experience is that I'm relatively strong and I pull myself into a posture my body is not really ready for and I got pain in my shoulders from doing that. To do the full Dhanurasana, so the bow pose, I also got shown a trick with a prop where you kind of tie your legs together and then you use the strap in order to get into the posture. I got into the posture, but again, I am relatively strong. So I pulled myself into the posture and uh, had quite um, some pain in my shoulders. And I really had to be careful to not um, yeah, hurt my muscles as well in this um, extension where I'm stretching my muscles and pulling a lot at the same time. So again, for me personally, props were not that helpful to flip the grip, rather the contrary was the case. But of course, if for you using a prop is helpful, go for it. But just be careful that you're not hurting yourself. So let's get back to flipping the grip. If you were in the position where you were before, where you help yourself to get in the posture um, with your elbow showing down, you slowly start rotating your shoulder up so your elbow goes up. As I emphasized before, be sure that you're not doing something that is too much for your shoulder. To show it again, you want to bring your body forward again, so square, your upper body is square and your hip is square again. While you start in an open position, you bring yourself back into this squared position. That's really important to flip the grip. So let's move over to directly uh, grabbing your foot, which may take some time. By helping myself, I kind of learned also the movement um, intuitively, I have to say. So it doesn't uh, appear that difficult after some time. So you really need to practice. So first your foot needs to turn to the outside. You reach back and try to grab your foot from below. Again, make sure that you have a good grip, otherwise you will lose it. As you can see, my heel is not that close to my body, so what you really need is open shoulders and a good pigeon, as I said. And as soon as you have a good hold of your foot, you guide your foot forward. At the same time, you rotate forward with your hips, so your hips get squared again, and you get into the posture by bringing your elbow up. When you are in a posture, do not stop pushing your chest forward and up and keeping your body square. So try to show it again. You grab your foot by turning your foot to the outside. Make sure you have good hold of your foot and then you guide your foot closer to your body. When you do that, you bend your elbow and then you rotate your body forward and slowly your elbow up. 
So make sure you're slowly moving into the posture, not hurting yourself. You keep reaching up and creating space in your front body. So as it is with these tutorials, all seems very easy and uh, quickly to achieve, but really it took me quite some years to do that. Um, so take the steps slowly, make sure that you're really spending some time with each of the steps and do not rush into it. You can really easily hurt your shoulders or whatever in this posture. So take it easy. Um, you will get there eventually. And the more you focus on the preparation, the easier it will actually then be in, be in the end. I out of a sudden could flip the grip without really thinking of it. I just did the preparatory moves and then it just worked out. And by starting in pigeon pose, um, it is easier as in any other posture because you can sit more or less stable and focus on your back bend and uh, flipping the grip and everything. And if you manage this uh, quite well already, you can move over to other postures. I then started doing this in the split or in a deep lunge or even then in um, finally in Dhanurasana, so in the bridge pose. So if you take some time in the preparatory uh, poses, um, I'm sure you will manage to flip the grip one day. Don't give up and just practice. I hope this little tutorial was helpful for you. If so, then maybe let me know in a comment below and also like this video. And do not forget to follow my channel to not miss out on any other content that I'm going to provide. For now I say Servus! <laughs>